we'll see what happens from there. All right, that does it for news on our end. So that means that we're jumping into the race preview. Mexican Grand Prix. Start us off with trivia, Ruben. (laughs) 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 So trivia is a little weird because obviously we are, you know, Formula One fans, but we haven't been, we cannot go back. Well, at least all of us. Yeah, all three of us, I could say. Can I go back too, too, too far? Because obviously I'm the oldest one. I'm, Maybe I'm you pretty historic compared to these guys. So pretty sure you can. Yeah, yeah. Just that's what I said. I'm, I'm pretty historic compared to you guys. You know. You're the tyrannosaurus. But let's let's, let's go. I got a couple of couple of easy questions for you to, for you guys to try to guess or maybe maybe uh you know have the right answer. Let's go. Uh, let's go with the first one. Uh, Name the driver who entered the 2016 Mexican Grand Prix with a swearing section of the radio. Com- Sebastian oh, Vettel. Yeah, he answered got it. Oh, shit. He was mad. What was you the know, question? Was, was with a about- swearing section? Yeah, yeah. He, he basically went on a tirade over the radio, cursing out Charlie Whiting. Why? He was mad at Max. Yep. <laughs> he was mad at Max. Because there's, oh, the, uh, I'll give you a brief history oh, yes. on that. The reason why was that at this point, uh, a lot of drivers were complaining about Max moving in the braking zone. So you couldn't do a double move. And Max yes. would and seemed to do that a lot. And um, obviously, Vettel was fighting for, for position. He was trying to overtake Max for Stappen. He moved in the braking zone. They didn't give him a penalty. And then, mm. yeah, the, the chaos ensued. Mm. And, and Sebastian Vettel went off. Mm. But off hard. Yeah, obviously, I, I don't. I think it was uh, mainly was also not only the the bra- breaking, you know, moving on the breaking. Also, I think he overtook Battle for third place by cutting a corner. Wow! And mm-hmm. he, the penalty didn't come out to like the end of the race. And I think because of Battle's the way he behaved, he also got penalized. So it was Ricardo that was actually finished fifth. That was in the podium for third place. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Next question. Next question. Thank you, Walsh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> name the driver whose race was cut short on 2018 due to engine failure. And after the race, said, He's done with this car. I let Gasly drive it. That's uh, Daniel Ricardo. Yep, yeah. and that was make that that day actually made his eighth retirement DNF of the, of the season. season. Yeah, and he had DNF Com- the the race before him, Austin, complaining about a, a energy manufacturer that he was going to go race for. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what's funny about that is that that's a se- that that was a season that Danny Ricardo had a ton of DNFs. The season before that. Mm-hmm. Max Verstappen had a ton of DNFs also. So it, it, that's why you can never really compare how they did head-to-head because there was one season where Max Verstappen was just like DNFing all the time. Mm-hmm. And then the well, next season, it was Daniel Ricciardo DNFing all the time, and it was because of the uh, Renault engine. Mm. The reliability, no, but what I said towards the ANC, uh, the head-to-head battles have to be compared depending on on how which way the team went on setting up the car for each driver. Pretty much we're seeing it now with Sergio Perez. Throughout the whole season, his car was being set up similar to Max. They went a different way and Sergio Perez's performance has skyrocketed, you could say. You know? Yeah, that's, that's something I will never be able to tell. That's a good point. Exactly. Probably did not yet. Good point. Ruben. Wow. All right, next question. Name the only the only back to back winner at the Mexican Grand Prix. Max Verstappen. Yes, sir. You got it right. Yeah, 20. (laughs) Close enough. Was it 2018, 2019? Nope, 17 and 18. 17 and 18. Wow. The only back to back ever, by the way. Now, just now, you know. Yeah, because we didn't All race. Right. Obviously, we didn't race. 19, if he wins 20. now, would it be back to No, I don't think he won in 19. No, because he got 17, 18, 19. No, because Hamilton. Lewis won, won in 19, right? Yes. Yeah. Lewis won 19 and 16. There you go. Okay. 15 was won by Nico Rosberg. Wow. Wow. 
Is that it for questions? That's, what, that's, what trivia, guys. that's it. That's it. Three okay. Right. History time. Let's do it. Go. History now. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> So I was just, there's not a big history. Short the... view back to the pod. <laughs> yeah, 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 that applies here. Yeah, let's do it. So there's a there's a big history um, related to the Mexican Grand Prix going back to uh, the first event was held in 1962, even though it was not it was not counted as a you would say as part of the uh, championship. It was it was all uh, later into. 1963, when it was made part of the championship series of of Formula One. Uh, big highlight is in 1970, uh, they ran into con- con- uh, crowd control issues. There was an estimated over 200,000 people there, and they could not keep people off the track, where Jackie Stewart and a couple of drivers did laps around slowly just to tell people to stay off the track. Jeez, wow. that's so dangerous. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, after 1970, it will be 16 years to the next Mexican Grand Prix. It's you know it's been on off for you know a bunch of times. Um, it was now you know developing with a name change. It was now called the Hermano Rodriguez. You know, Autodromo Hermano Rodriguez. I'm sorry, I botched the name. You know the way saying it. What was the uh, original name of the place? I did not write it down. There was a different name, but it was pretty much in a it was in a similar area, like the the area itself. It was a uh, the original place was a little bit outside of Mexico City until it was brought here in 1986 to where it is now. Um, in 1986, it was a surprise obviously as well to have it. It was um, a year after Mexico suffered a, a devastating earthquake, you know, mm-hmm. and the track still faced a lot of safety issues due to uneven surface. And there was a where where Foro Sol is out now or the the stadium area that was a. Uh, 180 degree turn before it was called Peraltada. Don't know what that mean, name means, but it was a you know pretty much a very dangerous, um, very part dangerous track. part of the track. Yeah, it was it was held there on and off for about three more Grand Prix after night after 1986. You know there was some years that was back to back, and then it was it would skip some years. Basically, the Hockenheim of of uh, of South America. In a lot of ways, yeah. yeah. It wasn't until 2015, with the support of billionaire Carlos Lim, that he came back after being absent for 23 years. Bam. Now I'm bringing us the redesigned stadium section to take place of that dangerous turn. And it's actually pretty much, you would say, the, the loudest part of the track as well when it comes to, to the fans' integration. I've, I've watched a race from there, and it's pretty much also the most fun you could have in a, that I had so far in a racetrack. Wow. Okay. Uh, highlights is uh, the Mexican Grand Prix has been home. It was home to send us a hundred Grand Prix in 1990. It was home to Alonso's 250th race start in 2015. And in 1992 was uh, Michael Schumacher's first podium. It was a uh, third place for Benetton. We got the most wins by a driver, Jim Clark, with three, followed by a four way tie with two wins apiece. Alan Prost, Nigel Manso, Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton. Boom. Wow. Yep. Most win by construction. Lotus with four. Wow. Followed by a three-way tie, another tie, for uh, McLaren, Williams, and Mercedes. Uh, Ferrari and Red Bull could join that list of the, you know, the tie for second, because then right now there are two wins apiece. So if you know Red Bull wins or Ferrari this weekend, they could join that. List of the construction with you know, Probably Red Bull. Three, three wins. Uh, most wins by engine manufacturers are uh, Honda, followed by a Honda with four, I'm sorry, followed by a three way tie again with an um, engine manufacturer I never heard of before. It's called Climax for Mercedes. Another highlight is the uh, highest altitude race with 2,240 meters above sea level. That's about 7,500 feet. The next highest. On the calendar is Brazil with 765. Why did I miss well? Well, what did I miss? Uh, in 2017 and 2018, Lewis Hamilton won the championship there. He secured the championship win there for WDC. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got. In both years? Both years, 17 and 18. Awesome. Back to back, he secured them there. Okay. Yeah, 19, because Mexico was before. Uh, was after. Mexico, or, no, before you're right, before. Florida. Yeah, 
he landed the, the champions in Coda. In Coda, yep. Boom. Three.